Here we have some word problems having to do with circumference and arc length. Let's look at the first one. It says a park has a circular swimming pool. Okay, there's our circular swimming pool. The diameter of the pool is 13 feet. What is the distance traveled if you swim around the edge of the pool? So if you're right up against the edge of that pool and you go all the way around once, well, that's the circumference. And we have a formula for that. We have c equals 2 times pi times the radius. Now, the mistake you might make, because they've given you 13 feet, is that you might try to plug in 13 for r. But 13 is not the radius. It's the diameter. The radius is going to be half of that, because the radius goes from the center to the edge. So the radius is going to be 6.5. So this is c equals 2 times pi times 6.5. Of course, you'll notice we're just going to multiply that by 2 again. So really, this is pi times 13, or 13 times pi. And let's see, that is about 40.82 feet. You may have noticed from this last one that we have this factor of 2 along with the r here. So this is the formula we normally use for circumference. But another formula that's just as valid would be the circumference equals pi times the diameter, since the diameter is twice the radius. So if that comes in handy for you, you can use that. All right, let's look at this next one. The distance around the equator, equator of Uranus is 160,535 kilometers. So Uranus is one of the planets in our outer solar system. It's one of those big gas giants. And an equator is the line that goes around the absolute fattest belly part of the planet, the absolute middle. Okay, and if we were to slice across that line, we would and look down from, you know, open it up and look down at, at, at that, one of the halves would look like this. We'd have this circle, and that equator would be the circumference of this circle. So we're going to use our circumference formula, and what we're being asked to find is the diameter, the equatorial diameter. So that would be the distance across right there. So we have circumference, that's this number here. We're trying to find diameter. So you know what? This may actually come in handy. I'm going to use circumference equals pi times diameter. So circumference equals pi times diameter. Our circumference is 160,535 times equals pi times d. And then to solve for diameter, all I have to do is divide by pi. And in this case, you should get something like 51,100 or so kilometers. I'm rounding a little bit, but you can check that on your own calculator. And that's the equatorial diameter of Uranus, if you've ever wanted to know. All right, let's uh, look at one more here. Bob watched a bug crawl through an arc of 12 degrees along the rim of his melon, which was cut in half. So apparently Bob is eating a half a melon, and it's perfectly circular, and there was a bug on it, and it started crawling along and crawled through 12 degrees of an arc. So we know that the bug crawled 12 out of 360 degrees of that circle. It says if the radius of the melon was 9 inches, how far did the bug crawl? To find out that distance in inches, we're going to take this ratio here of the portion of this, the whole circle and multiply it by the circumference of the whole circle. So to figure out the circumference, we're going to use 2 pi r. And in this case, r, the radius is 9 inches. So that would be 12 360ths times, well, 2 times 9 is 18, times 18 pi. And then at this point, you could go ahead and punch that out in your calculator, 12 times 18 times pi divided by 360. And I think what you should get, well, that comes out to, I think, 0.6 pi, which would be 1.88 inches. So those are a few word problems with circumference and arc length.